wanted to be a lawyer, to tell you the truth, which seems kind of odd because I was a, an engineer and scientist for so many years. But I um, went to law school. I graduated when I was 40. And uh, uh, I have always had an interest in technology and thought that patent law would probably be the best fit for my uh, skills and my experience. And as it turned out, I, I think it was. While your invention may be great, it actually may be fantastic, there's a good chance there's going to be prior art that comes close to what you have if if doesn't actually disclose what you have. So be prepared for some disappointment, uh, kind of a reality check. As a patent attorney, it allows me to understand the pressure that inventors are under uh, to solve problems. And so that if they are a little bit testy or uh, they don't have a lot of time, I understand that completely uh, because I've been there, uh, done that. I think that the pitfalls are, are, are the huge changes that uh, we as practitioners cannot see coming because they're coming out of nowhere. Uh, and I think they're coming as a result of an anti-patent trend in the courts, especially less so in the patent office, but the patent office certainly has shown an anti-patent trend in, with respect to business method patents. So uh, yeah, that's the, that's the big thing for the present and future, is uh, how to predict something that we have not been successful at all well, for the past five years or so. When I was younger, I did like to do really long runs. I was an ultra runner for a while. Uh, I would run uh, 50 mile runs, 75 mile runs. I don't do that anymore. Uh, the best I can do is to walk. <laughs>